Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I am here to share with you my new project using the supplies in the craft Craftology box for May. This is a little birdhouse mini album and I have just left the roof line loose so that you can take it off and it is lined inside all the way around. The top I used a brick embossing folder so it would look like a slate roof. And then I did add some more trim along the top so that when this is off, the roof is off, it still looks finished. So on the front I used uh, one of the design papers. I used a circle die that I had in my stash to make a little porthole window for the birds with a little and I just rolled up a tiny piece of cardstock to make a perch and I had this little door die in my stash which I used as well and then these flowers came from uh, Tammy with a collection so I really like how this turned out I kept the back very plain it's just the blue uh, from my colors it's really beautiful paper I hadn't had any of that before and I'm just really really happy with it I'm gonna make sure I stay in frame now this is not going to lay flat because of the perch and the flowers so other than that I love it <laughs> now I have I'm going to do a second tutorial on this album uh, with all the inserts and embellishments in it but I wanted to show it to you this way first just so that you could see the beautiful papers now there is a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here this is a, a layout that Tammy designed quite some time ago uh, she called it the lay flat pocket and it was perfect on the cover of this album and there are four pages in here and you can do the front and back of each this one has a magnet it opens out this way and I just put one of the chipboard pieces on there and there is a little pocket here a little tuck spot I know it is there it is a little tuck spot there and this is just the design paper but see what I mean I want you to see how beautiful the paper is before I put any mats or anything in it then oh, I don't want to knock my flowers off they haven't been on there very long so I'm not sure if the glue is completely dry there is page two I'm going to lay it this way so I can show you page two this one lifts up another little tuck spot here and then once you've closed this you can add something to this little pocket to help keep it closed then on page three I'm trying not to tear up my flowers on page three we have a double belly band let me see if I'm still in frame pretty much it goes here is belly band and here is the second one so you can get a lot of things in there I'm gonna fold it back this way and then on the fourth page you have this flip up and this one is on a magnet as well and then this flips out back and forth like that so it gives you several opportunities for smaller photos there or journaling and there is a small mag or a magnet in there it's the um, basic gray and then we have oh my goodness I run out of space here let me flap that down we have another lay flat pocket here on the back one two and three so then when you turn it over you have this page which is a repeat of page one. Oh, I might need to trim that off because that's going to touch that and I didn't realize that opens this way and then you have a little pocket here I'm going to trim that down just a little bit and then we have a pocket here or that flaps over there that's the magnet for that this opens have another photo mat here and then your tuck spot then we have the double belly band again here and here and then the same as the last page this way 
Oops, I forgot a mat. <laughs> Don't I do it every time? Oh, I swear. What are we going to do with me? So there you go. There's my little mini. Oops, I've been it. It's okay. And then the little roof just sits right back up on it. It helps keep it closed. Now, you can put a ribbon here if you wanted. My original intention was to poke, put two holes here on the front and the back and secure it with a ribbon. But I decided in the long run I didn't want to add anything else to the front because I really like the way it is. And I just, I didn't want to add holes and any more distraction to the front. I just wanted it to be a birdhouse. Alright, that's my little project. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And there will be a tutorial posted shortly.